Church in Scottsdale, Arizona. And guess what? It's still Easter. Plus, it's the second Sunday of Easter. So let's all say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm Ruthie and I'm 11 years old. And I'm Hannah and I'm nine years old. We're pleased to join you in Children's Chapel today. Come, let's worship. And now it's time for our lighting of the candles with Hannah and Hayden. Please light a candle in your home with us. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and mind, heaven and earth. is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Good morning, Children's Chapel. Let's sing our opening song, Come Gather Round. Ready? Please join me in saying the Easter Collect. Jesus, we gather because you rose from the tomb and save us. By your Holy Spirit, strengthen and care for us as children of the resurrection. Amen. Good morning, Children's Chapel. Today, our song is called Every Day, Just Like on Easter. It talks about arising like Christ. And every day, imagining that it's Easter morning. How awesome would that be? Sing along with us. I think you'll catch this song pretty quick. Every day, just like on Easter,
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. It was Easter, Sunday night, and the disciples were all together in a house with locked doors. They were scared the authorities were going to come and get them because they knew Jesus. All of a sudden, Jesus was right in the middle of them and said, Peace, brothers. He could tell they couldn't believe it was him. So he showed them the holes in his hand and his side. They were so very happy to see him alive. And again, he said, peace be with you. Just like my father sent me to you, I'm sending you out as well. He breathed on them and said, here, receive the Holy Spirit. Now you have the power to forgive. Thomas hadn't been with them that night. The other disciples told him, we saw Jesus. He was right here with us. Thomas said, I won't believe that until I see him for myself and can put my fingers on his wounds. A week later, the disciples were together again in the same house. Thomas was with them this time. And even though the doors were shut, Jesus was able to be in the middle of them again. And again, he said, peace be with you all. Jesus said, Thomas, I know it's hard to believe I'm here. Go ahead and put your fingers here on my hands and touch my side that you will, it will help you believe. Thomas fell to his knees. He didn't need to touch Jesus in order to say, my Lord and my God, it is you, Jesus. Jesus said, you believe because you can see me. Blessed are those who will never see me in person, but believe in me anyway. I can't tell you all the awesome things Jesus did. I've written what I have written so you can believe that Jesus is the Messiah and so that you can have the life he offers. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm Kate Fimbers and I'm here in our sanctuary. And I am so excited to tell you what I saw. I saw a hamster that was as big as one of those big Costco bears. And I saw a cow that was six feet tall and about the size of a big truck. And I also saw a frog that was 30 pounds and a seal that was the size of a minivan and weighed as much as a big car. You don't believe me? Really? Huh. Well, that reminds me of the reading we just heard we heard of a man called Doubting Thomas. Now, he kind of got the wrong name. We should not have called him Doubting Thomas. We should have called him Thomas who asks questions. Thomas who wants to know more. Thomas who was a follower and a believer and a very, very faithful to Jesus and Jesus' ministry. And when Thomas heard that his friends had seen Jesus, he wanted to know more. He wanted to be part of that. He wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to see where the nails had been. And it reminds us we should ask questions. We should wonder. We should want to know more. We want to see Jesus too, don't we? We believe, and we want to believe more. So I want to help you. 
with my hamster and my cow and my frog and my seal. Here's my cow. It is big. Here's my seal. Here's my frog. And here's the hamster. So what I did see was the truth. And the truth for us is that Jesus loves us and Jesus wants to be with us. And Jesus is present with us every single day. And we see God's glory and God's greatness in this world. All we have to do is look around. And God is in the beauty of the earth and in the beauty of you and me. God is in our hearts and God is in our minds. God is in our homes and God is in our church. God is in our schools. God is everywhere. So let's be people who not only love God, but who ask questions and who wonder and ponder the great glory and the great mystery of this faith that we believe, that we have, and that we know. And all God's people said, Amen. Please join me in saying the baptismal promises. Will you continue to learn from Jesus' friends and break bread and pray together? I will with God's help. Amen. Will you try and try to resist evil, and whenever you make bad choices, say you're sorry and turn again to the Lord? I will with God's help. Amen. Will you always show and tell Jesus to others? I will with God's help. Amen. Will you seek and serve Jesus, love yourself and others as Jesus does? I will with God's help. Amen. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of everybody? I will with God's help. Amen. Let's get ready for our prayers by singing, Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us power, send us love, send us grace. I'm Ellie, and today I'll be leading you in the prayer to the people. I have rocks for, for Lord and your mercy, and marbles for thank you, Lord. And I'm going to say my prayers now. So, thank Lord and your mercy for all of the people who have COVID. And thank you, Lord, for the doctors that are trying to help. And now it's your turn to say your prayers. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's greet each other in peace because now is the time of peace. You can say peace to someone, or say peace or share this peace sign to someone who's around you right now. Or you can uh, send a text to a loved one, neighbor, family, or a friend. Peace, peace be with, with you. you. And also with you. Good morning, Children's Chapel. 
Our song today is Hallelujah, Christ is Risen Again. Sing along with us. I think you'll pick it up after you hear it a couple times. in praying in the Lord's Prayer. Our God, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. For thine is and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Sent by God and I 